Hi guys, Grant here with Reeds Outdoors with another weekly fishing report. Let's start off with some of the ice conditions here on the main lake and Walker Bay. The main lake is looking good. We are looking like a full go for trucks and wheelhouses. We're seeing anywhere from kind of 14 to 18 inches of ice there and very minimal snow out there. A lot of that snow that we had really kind of blowed around. So, I mean, there's enough to bake your house, but not enough to make an issue with a vehicle. Walker Bay, on the other hand, not quite as much ice. We are seeing anywhere from kind of 11 to 13 inches. Um, most of that slush did heal up nice after the cold front around Christmas here, but you're still gonna run into a few slush pockets. So we are seeing some vehicle traffic on the bay, but I would still advise extreme caution. Um, as far as the fishing goes, there have been some pretty good reports coming from the main lake on walleye and kind of that snow 11 to 13, 11 to 14 feet. Um, it has been more of a low light bite. So you get your you know, couple hours in the morning and then really it's been that half hour before dark and then staying after dark on the walleye in the evening side of things. Um, but we are getting some good sized perched mix in and kind of the same deal on Walker Bay. You're gonna be out there a little bit deeper. You no, know, some guys are still around that shoreline structure in that kind of a 12 to 19, but most of the guys having better luck are getting to some of the offshore structure in that kind of 23 to 29 foot range. As far as techniques go, you no know, a good rattle spoon is going to be uh, your best option. You no know, running the new Northland buckshot rattles and the glass spoons and the coffin spoons have been good. And I'd always you know, remember to put your dead stick down there. Uh, I always get those bonus fish. Um, as far as paying fish report goes, it's a little more limited. I've talked to a couple groups that have done really well. Some that's not so well, um, but crappie reports going to be limited. It seems like they are starting to move out to their deeper basin areas that you'll see this time of year. Uh, but overall, pretty limited. And then one bonus reminder that pout are starting here. We did finally see a few walleye guys pulling a few wheel pout this last weekend. So it's exciting. Thanks, guys.